You too. What is good? It's AJ Boogie back at it again, bringing you that Celtic versus Bucks game one. Right? The Celtics cruise to a 112 to 90 victory, and I mean cruise. From the very first quarter, the Celtics set the tone, and they did not look back. As I'm looking up the pregame for this one, they had Vegas had the Bucks as an eight-point favorite. I called up my imaginary bookie and I told him, I'm willing to bet my house, I'm willing to bet my car, I'm willing to bet everything that I have in my possession. I'm taking this spread, I'm taking the Celtics to win. In Vegas, they must have partied a little bit too hard yesterday. They weren't thinking straight. Having the Bucks as an eight point favorite? Give me my money and Mr. Al Horford, Mr. Flinch Horford, dominate. If Giannis is the Greek freak, Al Horford is the Dominican flincher. And Flinch Horford shut down Giannis. Let's start with his block that he had on Giannis. I'd never seen a block like that before. They met at the summit and both of them with all their strength both pushed the ball down, slammed the ball to the ground. It was a block that I've never seen before. No one has ever seen before. Horford had 20 points, 11 boards, shot 50% from the field, including three threes and three blocks. That block, Giannis looked like Zeus at the top of Mount Olympus throwing down the lightning bolt, and Horford said no. Horford was the best player in a Celtic uniform today, no question about it. Horford held Giannis to 22 points. He got those 22 points on 21 shots, making only seven of them. Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew showed up tonight, and it wasn't Kyrie, it was Uncle Drew with his crafty dribbling, big time shots, finished with 26 points. There was no answer for Kyrie Irving today, dancing on defenders, fall away jumpers, he looked incredible. Now, I want to talk about the Celtics a little bit. Jason Tatum with only 4 points. Where has Jason Tatum, where has he gone wrong from last year to this year? only had four was not a big factor in this win it was Horford and it was Kyrie Jalen Brown added in 19 Gordon Hayward had 13 really good game from Gordon Hayward the Celtics have the best bench player in basketball right now minus Lou Williams the best bench player in the playoffs he's gonna be huge for the Celtics team now let's talk about the Greek freak let's talk about mr. MVP 22 points on 21 shots and you gotta credit Brad Stevens he had a great game plan for Giannis he always forced Giannis when he brought his double team to always turn back towards the middle Giannis would catch it in the post a double team would come as soon as he made a move Kyrie Irving or whoever that wing was on his side completely ignored his man and turned his whole body to Giannis. Giannis had nowhere to go and you can expect that all series long. This Bucks team does not impress me. Chris Middleton does not impress me. He's a good player but if Giannis can't get going no one else is going to get going. Giannis shot 33% from the floor. Now I'm not going to rip Giannis. He's still an MVP candidate. Probably, eh, maybe. I don't know about probably yet. Him and James Harden, that's going to be a close race. They say the MVP is a regular season award, but they let it drag on through the playoffs, and that's going to distort everyone's opinion. He wasn't there. He wasn't MVP form today. Now, this Celtics team is a lot different from last year. They're a lot different team from this regular season. The Celtics, they only have one thing in mind and it's the playoffs. They had an up and down regular season, but I was not worried about it at all. Too many people bought into the hype that the Celtics are struggling, that the Celtics don't know what they're doing. They do know what they're doing. They're going to win the East and represent the East in the finals. They got too many great guards. They got a center who can legit shoot. They got a great coach in Brad Stevens. I like the Celtics team. Unless the Bucks can cook up a game plan quick, nothing's going to change from the Celtics side. Double team for Giannis all night. Worry about Middleton. We're not worried too much about blood. So Giannis has got to beat us, and he's got to beat us while he's double team. And I don't know a guy who can do that in the NBA, current or former player, not even MJ. Chris Middleton is not a Scottie Pippen. This Bucks team is in trouble. 
That's all the heat I got for today. Like, comment, subscribe to the Boogie Squad. AJ Boogie, and I'm out. Boom!